Alright, what's going on guys? Back to another video. I'm here with Pop. I'm just walking. Having a good walk. Uh, we're gonna go down here and hang out. Um, I'm gonna go on a hike. I uh, wanted to take her with me. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please let me know. So, um, that's basically what we're doing, is we're going on a hike. I, um, I got a game recommendation. It's called Unpacking. It's a really chill completion, because all you're doing is unpacking boxes in different years, and it's really cool. I really recommend it. It's for Xbox Store, so you can see for yourselves and all that. So there's that. And then, yeah. So, anyway, I uh, not only wanted to say that, but... It is becoming fall, as you may know, and a lot of people are, you know, going to do fall stuff, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to tell you my experience with my first, as an adult, my first experience at the Oak Leaf Festival couple weeks back so what was it like well I sat there and it was great I saw a lot of old cars I went when I was like a toddler with my mom and dad back in the day you know, when I was a youngin'. Anyway, so there was that. And then, well, other than that, I sat there and I just looked at cars most of the day. And then I heard a cover of Journey from this band beautiful scenery I think it's real pretty how the sunlight touches the the trees in the forest it makes it look really pretty but anyway so back to what I was saying they have been doing journey covers for 29 years that is correct 29 years and I I really think that's a really big accomplishment because doing the same songs from Journey over and over is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. 29 years of it. And to tell you the truth, it was an amazing performance. Like, and the lead singer that was doing the Journey covers, he looks like, very similarly, like the guy from Journey, like the lead singer that was at the performance. And if you want to go see, go look at my Instagram. I went live that day, and I actually sat there, and I... I recorded the live session on an actual video and also went live and recorded the live session on live video. So you can check that out on my Instagram, the the live video version of the Journey concert. And 
they sound exactly like Journey. It's so awesome. And I'm pretty sure they hold these Oakley festivals when it comes time to it every year. Not really sure, but I just know that they, uh, that they had it this year, and it was, it was really good, it was a good evening, it was very warm, it was a warm 70 degrees, and uh, a dark night sky with pretty twinkling stars, so there was a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends at this event, at this performance, live performance. And it was just a really great experience. Like, it was like no other that I've been to. Like, I've been to... Three years back, I went to a, uh, a winter gym. And I saw... Jen Ledger. And I actually waved at her and she smiled at me and said, How do you do? So that was nice. And, yeah... Now, I didn't meet any of the people that did the Journey covers. And what was what was really cool was the fact that every time they would finish one cover of a song, they would switch clothes. So they'd go backstage and they would switch clothes for each like scene for the cover song which was really cool in my opinion because they didn't have to do that they could have just stayed the way that they were and just did all the covers but no they wanted to be interactive on the stage and their hearts and souls went into these covers because I'm not even kidding like their heart their their hearts and souls went into these songs because like the lead singer in this band his eyes were shut and you know you could feel the vibrations from the stage to the ground that we was sitting on and it just was glorious and it just was a really nice night and you know I was like Raw God! Yeah! Woo! And, like, that's how I was. And everybody was getting into it. Everybody, like, it became the 1980s for a split 10 minutes. Like, everyone had their flashlights out on their phone. And they were just, like, like, they had their, imagine this was a phone. And they were, like, you know, waving it up in the air back and forth like it was a flashlight because they used the flashlight on their phone and it was so cool and yeah, it was just a really awesome experience so that was my experience my first ever time experience as an adult at the age of 21 going to my first Oakley Festival met up with some a couple of friends and we ate good food they had a food called an elephant ear they had funnel cake they had donuts they had it all man they had it all and it all looked good and they even have even had shaved ice so you know it was good they had the shaved ice truck and then there was bounty castles and bounty houses and just all kinds of wonderful stuff like that. And to tell you the truth, it was amazing. Seeing all these people, you know, it, it was just a really good time, man. And I caught up with some friends that I didn't see for a couple months. So I met up with them at the festival and it was just a really great experience. If you're ever in town, 
come swing by. It's at Oak Hill, West Virginia. And, and it has an Oak Hill, West Virginia, in my opinion, has its rustic places. You know, it has its history buildings and all that. Same with Fayetteville, West Virginia. And to be honest, it was just really great. And I wouldn't have had it any... I wouldn't have had it any other way because it was just really awesome. And if you guys want me to do a reaction on every time I go to an Oakley Festival and tell you my experience each year, if I go every year, let me know in the comments down below. I will attempt to tell you my experience, unless if I forget one year, which the possible chances of me for forgetting about the experience no but forgetting to record to record the talk about it yes i will probably forget one year in the year 2025 <laughs> i will probably go to an oakley festival and forget to tell you the experience <laughs> but yeah if if you guys want to see that type of series let me know because that will that would be good. And, you know, honestly, I like my little series on the YouTube channel because it gives you a different variety of all different types of my videos to give my channel perspective and just different content each time so it's not the same reoccurring content, you know? And, honestly... That's the beauty of it. So, you know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to hike with her. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that is my experience for the Oakley Festival of 2022. And honestly, it was just the greatest time I've had in a while. It was good. Great people, great food, great music. Can't go wrong, can't be too bad. Pretty much it. Creep it out. Have a great day, guys. Creep it out.